I'm Claire Shinsky, candidate for Beaver Creek City Schools Board of Education. In this edition of Coffee with Claire, I want to cover what are considered some of the current hot topics in education. First, I think it's important to clarify the role of a school board member. School board positions are nonpartisan because it is fundamentally important that we be able to listen to all voices in our community to craft policy and help ensure that all students receive the best possible education. It's also important that we follow state and federal guidelines regarding discrimination as failure to do so could result in the loss of education funding. As I mentioned in my previous school finance video, state funding makes up about 18% of Beaver Creek's current budget and federal funding makes up about 9.5%. So let's talk about book bans. I have advanced level readers uh, and understand the struggle to find challenging yet age appropriate content. The school district follows the American Library Association's guiding principles, which state parents or guardians have the right to guide the reading, viewing, and listening of their children, but must give the same right to other parents or guardians. I believe this is the right policy. I am not in favor of unilateral book bans, as I believe that they can have serious unintended consequences. The district has a reconsideration committee that's made up of educators who thoroughly re review any book complaints. In the spring, the district re did receive a complaint regarding a few books in the high school library. Uh, they, were, they went through the review process and remain on the bookshelves uh, with the ability for parents to restrict them on an individual basis. A few years ago during budget cuts, the school district removed their certified librarian position, which I believe is a move worth reconsidering, evaluating the costs and benefits of doing so. I've been asked a few times about transgender bathroom access and sports participation. So let's talk about the status quo. Current Beaver Creek students that identify as transgender or non-binary are using the private nurses' bathrooms or staff restrooms. In terms of athletics, as of last spring, there were six identified female trans athletes out of 400,000 student athletes in the state of Ohio. Only three of them were cleared to participate in sports based on the guidelines set forth by the Ohio High School Athletic Association, which is the governing body for all athletic programs for middle school and high school student athletes. All children deserve a safe and private place to use the bathroom or change. The national and state trends are moving towards providing private facilities at places like malls, rest stops, and schools, including some in our area. I believe this is the right move and will benefit not only transgender and non-binary students, but will also be beneficial to victims of bullying victims of sexual assault or other trauma, and students with GI or other health issues. I believe that candidates should discuss these issues that are important to our community. My faith says to love my neighbor, and I support all of our students regardless of their gender identity or sexual orientation. For LGBTQ youth, this respect is life-affirming. An astonishing 45% of LGBTQ youth seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year per the Trevor Project, and nearly one in five transgender and non-binary young people attempted suicide in the last year. Our district has a responsibility to provide a safe and welcoming environment for all children. Ohio legislators have introduced bills that, if passed into law, mean that school boards will not be deciding these issues. And new laws could potentially override the policies of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Unless it becomes a ballot issue at a later time, individual Ohioans will not be deciding these issues either. The State Board of Education, which was previously controlled by elected officials, was just taken over uh, by the state and the power will now be in the hands of political appointees. I plan to cover this topic more in depth on the next Coffee with Claire.